Today's topic is completing the square and formula method. To begin with, you surely should know some identities. a plus b the whole square equals a square plus 2ab plus b square. a minus b the whole square equals a square minus 2ab plus b square. Now let's consider this. a equals x and b equals 4. We thus get x plus 4 the whole square equals x square plus 2 into x into 4 plus 4 square. Therefore, x plus 4 the whole square equals x square plus 8x plus 16. Do you think we can make this equation x square plus 8x plus 12 a complete square? We can see that x square plus 8x is the same in both of the above equations. So let's take 12 on the RHS. Therefore, x square plus 8x equals minus 12. To make the RHS of equation 1 similar to the LHS of equation 2, we need to add 16 to equation 2. We thus get x square plus 8x plus 16 equals 4. Therefore, x plus 4 the whole square equals 4. Therefore, x plus 4 equals plus or minus 2. Therefore, x equals to minus 2 or x equals to minus 6. Did you get what we have done here? Let's generalize our method now. Let the general equation be x square plus bx plus c. Here, the coefficient of x square is 1, coefficient of x is b, and constant term is c. Let's do the same thing now as we did with the previous one. We take the constant term to the other side. x square plus bx equals minus c. The next thing to do is to make the LHS a perfect square. x square plus 2 into b by 2 into x equals minus c. Therefore, x plus 2 into b by 2 into x plus b by 2 the whole square equals minus c plus b by 2 the whole square. Try to think why we added b by 2 the whole square so that the LHS becomes a perfect square. After analyzing properly, we can conclude that to get the third term of LHS, we add square of half the coefficient of x. That is, third term equals half the coefficient of x square. Please note, half into coefficient of x square or half coefficient of x square is wrong. Also remember that coefficient of x square should always be 1. If it is not so, we need to make it 1 by dividing the whole equation with the coefficient of x square. Thus we can see that we made the LHS a perfect square and tried to get the values of x. Hence, this method is known as the completing the square method. Let us now start with an example with coefficient of x square equals 1. x square plus 3x plus 2 equals 0. So you remember what we have to do? Take constant term 2 to the right hand side we will get x square plus 3x equals minus 2. Here, coefficient of x equals 3. Therefore, the third term equals half into coefficient of x square, which is equal to 9 by 4. Now, we add 9 by 4 to both sides to make LHS a perfect square. x square plus 3x plus 9 by 4 equals minus 2 plus 9 by 4. Therefore, x plus 3 by 2, the whole square, equals 1 by 4. Therefore, x plus 3 by 2 equals plus or minus 1 by 2. Therefore, x equals to minus 2 or x equals to minus 1. In other words, x equals negative 2 or negative 1. Now, let's move on to another method known as formula method. As the name suggests, we use a formula to get the roots or the values of the variable x here. You might have definitely heard and seen the formula x equals minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac upon 2a. This was given by the Indian mathematician Sridhacharya. Do you know how we get this formula? After seeing this derivation, you would say uh, this. You would you would surely after seeing this derivation, you would surely get annoyed and say how easy it was. Say the equation be ax square plus bx plus c equals zero. Using the completing the square method, we get x square plus b by ax plus c by a equals zero. X square plus b by bond ax equals minus c by a third term equals half into b by a the whole square which is equal to b square upon 4a square x square plus b by ax plus b square upon 4a square equals b square upon 4a square minus c by a therefore x plus b by 2a the whole square equals b square minus 4ac upon 4a square therefore x plus b upon 2a equals plus or minus root of b square up minus 4ac upon 2a therefore x equals minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac upon 2a. You saw how easy it was. Though the formula actually seems to look difficult, but if you understand it, you will say this is very easy. 
So just substitute your values in the place of a, b and c and you're done. Now let's look at an example. x square minus x minus y equals 0. The first thing we need to do is comparing this equation with ax square plus bx plus c equals 0. We thus get a equals 1, b equals minus 1 and c equals minus 5. Now x equals minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac upon 2a. Now by substituting the values we get x equals 1 plus or minus root of 21 upon 2. Therefore x equals 1 plus root of 21 upon 2 or x equals 1 minus root of 21 upon 2. Congratulations! You now seem to have learned two methods of solving quadratic equations. In the next video you will learn to solve a bit more complicated equations. So stay tuned and don't miss the fun learning. Thank you. Subscribe T3.